Is the G20 about to absolutely transform cryptocurrency as we know it? First, we went from crypto as a fraud to clear regulation by 2023. We're going to break that down in today's video. My name is Coach JV. What I work to do is make the complex very, very simple. Now, this has been kind of a series this week. So if you haven't watched Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday where I just free flow, I'm going to be breaking down the financial system and trying to make things a little less complex for you. You know, we had the XRP case end or not end specifically. Judge Torres said that XRP is not a security, which radically put a bunch of information and attention towards crypto. But you have to be very, very careful. It's still a very speculative asset. We don't have a lot of clarity, but I'm going to break that down today. Now, if you want to understand how we've helped over 7,000 warriors worldwide get their shit together since 2020, kick the description down below and join our Warrior Academy. We will never proactively DM you. Those are all scammers. I will never ask you to send me money. We have a free consultation with our wealth protection team. I'm a licensed insurance agent. I'm licensed in multiple states, 38 states in the United States. And I have a team of licensed agents all over the United States teaching you the infinity banking concept, how we secure, grow, and compound our wealth. That's in the description down below. So let's dive into this video and work to make the complex simple. So I'm going to show you this video from five months ago. This is from a new station um, overseas, CNBC. Uh, but they're talking about the crypto cross-border payments, digital public infrastructure agenda on the G20 five months ago, okay? Then I'm gonna show you how the BIS, well, I already talked about this this week, the Bank of International Settlements is giving recommendations to the G20 and they meet in September, which they're gonna to work to define global regulation by the end of 2023. Remember first they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it, then they join it. Now we're heading into the joining, excuse me, regulation and joining phase, which is gonna cause institutions to come in which is going to cause massive price appreciation. Make sure you have an exit strategy. As everybody comes FOMOing in, which is fear of missing out, you need to be exiting the market, securing your wealth, okay? This could radically transform your life, guys. It radically transformed mine the last four years. Think about that. As I was an executive going to school, got a job, traded time for money, and had a 401k, I've literally transformed my life by going vertical, excuse me, horizontal versus going to school, getting a job, getting a 401k, having a business, having crypto. I was taught through mentorship to diversify crypto, leverage life insurance into infinity banking. We got precious metals. We're going into real estate. We're going vertical next year, which we believe everything's going to transform. Um, and then we're also looking at uh, self-development, which is one of our biggest things in diversified in business. So I digress. All right, so let's dive into this video and pay attention to what they were doing five months ago at the G20, and we'll take a look at what they're doing coming up in September. Another important development of the day, well, G20 finance ministers and the central bank deputies are meeting in Bengaluru today. In fact, there are some high-level discussions on matters of importance. Well, Parikshit Lutra, my colleague, has been tracking it very, very closely, joining us straight from the location to tell us more on what's on the agenda. Hi, Parikshit. Well, 500 delegates from across the world have descended uh, in the city of Bengaluru here at the Marriott Hotel, which is a G20 venue for the finance track, and they are brainstorming on various issues. So today you have a session going on on cryptocurrencies to have a policy consensus on crypto assets. Key to have a policy consensus on crypto assets. So as they tell you crypto is a fraud, they're coming up with consensus and they have clarity by the end of this year on how they're going to regulate crypto. There's a discussion going on on digital public infrastructure, leveraging national payment systems to enhance cross-border payment arrangements as well. Uh, Finance Minister Nimra Sitaraman is very much here. She's already met the U.S. Secretary for Treasury, Janet Yellen. She's also met the Finance Minister of Italy. She will hold at least at least 10 uh, bilateral meetings today uh, on uh, issues related to G20, uh, the global economy, and also uh, uh, global uh, uh, bilateral economic relations as well. Uh, we it's not by chance, guys. Think about that. Five months ago, Janet Yellen was out there meeting with the head of the G20 around global regulation. Do you think it's by chance that the Ripple case got 
well, not settled. They're going to go through an appeal process, which is still going to, it's all about slowing down the system. We know XRP is not a security, right? So that gives you some clarity on where we're heading. Then all of a sudden the Bitcoin FTTF gets approved to go through process from BlackRock, right? It's all problem reaction solutions, slowly, methodically being planned out step by step. All these influencers are saying there's a switch that's flipped. Guys, the switch was flipped a long time ago. This is a slow, drawn-out process. It takes so much to change a financial system. Guys, this is going to be our new monetary system for the next 100 years. The things you're complaining about right now, you're not even going to be talking about six years from now. We're going to be using the new monetary system, right? Everything's the mark of the beast. Credit card was the mark of the beast. You know, online banking was the mark of the beast. Social was the mark of the beast. And you guys all forgot about that. You're now using these things. So remember, guys, pay attention. Don't get caught up in the bullshit. We are uh, going to see a lot of discussions on the communique. The communique is the key document, outcome document of the G20 meeting, and it works by consensus. And we believe that uh, throughout the day, there are a number of meetings which are going to be held to have consensus on the joint communication, the outcome document of this meeting. And uh, we are also hearing that there is uh, no consensus yet on the issue of debt vulnerability. India has been asking countries, uh, especially China, to take a haircut on loans because it is the largest lender to many of the developing countries which are under heavy debt right now. Uh, but at the same time, China has not agreed to that proposal and China is asking multilateral development banks to take a haircut as well. So Okay, so the, that shares with you right there. That was a little bit deeper. I didn't even go that far into it. You know, there's a lot of really, 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 really bad situations globally, right? So what can fix this? <laughs> Distributed ledger technology, on-demand liquidity, money moving, velocity of money moving very, very fast. This is a fix for them, guys. The can was kicked down the road so far. There's a reason why our president is in this position he's in right now. Like, let that sink in. He was put in a position to be a talking head. Like, think about that. Look at what he's doing. Like, there is a massive transformation right now. Like, the, this isn't just America. This is a global transformation, guys. So this is right off the BIS website right here, Bank of International Settlements. Uh, and it shows right here, lessons learned on the CB. Is that right? Or is that my dyslexia? Learned? Lessons learned? Is that a word? <laughs> it is. My daughter said yes. <laughs> From the, love it. Report. <laughs> report. So learned. Oh, my gosh. That's new in my vocabulary. Reported summit to the G20 finance minister. The world's central banks are stepping up efforts to prepare the ground. Imagine my daughter. She's like her just to spell for her dad all the time. To prepare groundbreaking digital currencies, CBDCs, either a digital cash, retail, or tokenization reserve wholesale. This report shows how the BIS Innovation Hub is helping central banks on their CBDC journey and discussions and the lessons learnt so far. That just sounds weird. Learnt. I'm going to learn to you today. Okay, so this, what's that? Past tense. Ah, thank you. Thank you. My daughter's beautiful. She's so smart. Okay, so CBDCs across borders. I guess that means past tense. The G20 efforts to enhance cross-border payments envision a potential role for CBDCs to help reduce cost and increase speed while improving transparency as well as inclusiveness. In particular, the FSB CPMI roadmap stresses the importance of factoring international dimensions into CBDC, CBDC design in response to BISHI, uh, this, isn't that a song, a rap song, has put significant resources into exploring cross-border use cases for CBDCs, guys. CBDCs, I, God, I, wish, I wish we could avoid it, but I don't think we're going to be able to avoid it, guys. You know, all these, um, the candidates for presidential election, they're going to stand on this as they're uh, campaigning, right? Everything these presidents say they don't do. You guys realize that, right? <laughs> like everything they say they're going to do, none of them do it. They get caught into the fray and then they're part of the corporation and then they're the puppet for the corporation. It's like, come on, man. Like, oh, we're going to, I'm not going to let this happen. I don't think you have a choice, man. <laughs> I don't think you have a choice. The system is designed to be the system, right? So global rules leave crypto firms with no, there it is right here. I didn't even, plan that global rules leave crypto firms with no place to hide says g20 watchdog globally agreed rules leave crypto firms with no option but to introduce basic safeguards to prevent the blowups seen at ftx exchanges and other crypto casualties the g20's financial stability report said on monday the fsb published on Monday, final recommendations requested by the G20 on supervising firms that trade crypto assets such as Bitcoin. The watchdog also revised its existing recommendations for stablecoins in light of the demise of Terra Luna. 
told you guys the collapse was in 2020. First they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it, then they join it. They show you problem, reaction, solution. This is the solution to the problem that was created and the public buys it up and they eat it up. Okay, here's the meeting. G20 Leaders Summit 2023. The 18th heads of state in the government summit of G20 will take place September 2023. Ironic, guys. Hmm. One year after the Shemitah. And one year after the Shemitah, the capital markets come collapsing down. When would you collapse the capital markets? Right before you have regulation. And why would you do that? So you can buy the dip, baby. That's why Bitcoin, the largest asset manager in the world, increased their position in micro strategies. The largest Bitcoin holder, as they told you, it was used for money laundering in 2017. Guys, it's all the same system over and over and over again. So take a deep breath. <sighs> Work harder on yourself than you do anything else. Become disciplined and consistent. Take care of your family. Build some principles. Build some family structure. You can do this, guys. This is the biggest transformation, and you could be part of it, right? You're not going to stop this freight train. The freight train has left the building, as Rosie Rio said. You're not going to stop a CBDC from coming. But what you can do is you can invest in innovative technologies, and you can transform by getting the resources. You know, we didn't create the monetary system, guys. It costs money to do things. I, I didn't create the monetary system. I'm already free. If everything collapsed, guys, and everything goes to zero, I'm the freest man in the world. I have love. I have family. I have God. I'm good. The money just enhances the resources that I have around me, and I'm not fighting an invisible enemy. So get focused, get dedicated, get disciplined, get consistent. Take your family and your kids with you. Teach them the, teach them the way, guys. Learn together. Don't be embarrassed. This is all brand new for all of us. And if it doesn't make sense, just keep diving in, guys. This is a radical transformation. Remember, rich parents have rich kids. Poor parents have poor kids. You have to rewire the foundation so it should feel difficult. It should be fucking uncomfortable. Absolutely. It should be extremely uncomfortable, guys, because you're transforming into a new – you're transmuting into a new reality. In order to create a new personality, you got to create a new reality. In order to create a new reality, you got to change into your personality, Dr. Joe Dispenza. You can't go into a new reality with the same personality. It doesn't work. That's why I repeat these cycles over and over and over again. That's why in the Bible it says it's nothing new under the sun. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. Everything is description down below. As we always say, warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go.